Hello to everyone! My name is Andreas Grussel, I'm a vocal coach, and today I will react to one of my favorite Disney songs of all time. It's the song Go the Distance, originally performed by Michael Bolton for the Disney movie Hercules. But today's performance of the song is by Katrina Velarde, another supposedly amazing singer from the Philippines that was mentioned and suggested in the comments to all of my videos so far. So without further ado, Let's get started. 107.5 I have often dreamed Nice voice. Of a fire place Where a hero is welcome Will be waiting for me Where the crowd will cheer I really love her phrasing. It's like she tells a story with these little parts that nearly come across as spoken. And accents are put on interesting places where you wouldn't necessarily expect them, like before on the word welcome. Heroes welcome. But her tone is clean and clear, and there was this moment when she opened her voice to the typical Disney princess sound that had a lot of that musical theater touch to it. When they see my face. So she obviously starts off the song very different than the original version, where Michael Bolton alternates in between breathy sounds I have often dreamed. and notes that have this cry-like touch to it. When they see my face. So very interesting approach to the song so far. Let's see where it goes. When they see my face And a voice keeps saying This is where I'm meant to be Very nice I'll be there someday Very nice stuff here. So we get more of that softer sound that kind of fits the idea of a Disney princess. And notice how she doesn't open her mouth very much as she creates that sound. This is where I'm meant to be. That is because for the sound color she's chosen and the breathy tone, she's aware that a closed vowel works a lot better acoustically than an open one would. If I can be strong, I know every month will be worth my while. Beautiful vocal tone. When I go over the distance, I'll be right where I belong. Love her full of voice. Now we get to hear a lot more of the power of her voice. And gosh, what an amazing instrument. Definitely a high soprano voice, but with a lot of cut to it. I'll be right. And we already get some hints for great belt qualities in her voice. And obviously, amazing dynamic control. Down an unknown road to embrace my feet. Though the road may Now let me say I really like the lower end of her voice and the fact that despite it's a high soprano voice, it has some of that darker grounded color to the low notes. Now you can tell from this part here that this is a high soprano voice because on the A3s she had to sing, you could already see that she was approaching the lower end of her voice, the tone lost a little bit of that ringing quality and got a little more breathy. But no criticism here, regardless of that fact, her sound color was just beautiful. It may take a lifetime, but somehow I see it through. And I won't look back. I can go the distance and I'll stay on track. No, I won't accept defeat. Lovely. It's a no, it's slow, but I won't 
wow, I really like the fact that she used so many different sound colors here because that really makes the song come to life. So in that area between F4 and C5, she alternated in between half open mixy vowels no, I won't it. and open belt vowels. I can go the distance. And she also did these nice little runs. Amazing. Wow, she obviously is in full belt mode now. And everyone who has experience in belting knows that this can be a little bit like walking the wire. Because you need to open up the vowel, but at the same time make sure that you don't constrict the throat or cut off the airflow. And she's doing that in a very smart way, because she adds a lot of this twangy, cry-like sound, letting do acoustics the work for her, so that she doesn't have to push. And then, of course, this nice run up to an A5 in a beautiful half voice sound. <laughs> Amazing. And by the way, something that Michael Bolton loves to do as well. Gosh, two brilliant singers, Michael Bolton and Katrina Velarde. It's so hard to say which version is better. Let me know in the comments down below which one you prefer. Did she just belt that G5? Incredible! But not only that note, the whole belt part was fantastic and shows you that she really knows how to belt. Again, great vowel shape for the belt and a lot of that twangy cry-like sound that makes belting so much easier because it constricts the epilarynx a little bit and alternates the acoustic conditions so that the right frequency ranges are pumped in your voice. And all of that while the throat stayed relaxed and the airflow in the green zone. Simply perfect for that belt. She really kept the best for last. An amazing F5 sustained on a belt. And if this wasn't enough, she did this amazing run starting on a belted E flat 5 and going over F5 and C5 back to E flat 5 with an amazing flexibility in her voice. I mean, honestly, such flexibility in a belt coordination is pretty incredible. Now, of course, I love the song. This was an amazing and breathtaking performance by Katrina Velarde. 
and I slowly but surely start to ask myself, where do all these amazing singers in the Philippines come from? Because that's already the third one in a row that completely blew me away. Now, I was super impressed with her vocal skills and I definitely want to hear more of her singing. So please let me know in the comments down below which songs of her or other singers you want me to react to. Okay, that's it for today. If you liked this video, please subscribe to my channel and smash the like button below. And like always, take care. See you next time. Bye-bye.